Hey everybody, welcome back. So we're gonna pick up where we left off last time. We still have uh, to get the last uh, bay of purlins to get put in. Uh, make sure our that outside wall is plumb. That we didn't have any deviations in stuff coming across the length of the building and uh, figure that out, get that wall straightened up, get it secured to the base, um, get it square, get it plumb, and get that in, get those purlins in, and then from that point we need to straighten out um, the two side walls. Um, we'll string line that and uh, then go ahead and get our rafter tails put on. Um, and then at that point we can, uh, while we're doing that, we'll through bolt, uh, a couple of half inch bolts, both top and bottom, uh, into the, from the post into the uh, rafters, and then from the post into the uh, brackets in the ground. Uh, we still have some more bracing to put in, uh, both the double X brace in the corners on each side, and then uh, I gotta kinda look and see where we're at on the uh, vertical bracing and the horizontal bracing of the end walls uh, from the top of the, basically from the top of the rafter back, we go back two bays uh, with like a 45 degree, and then just make sure everything is in its right place, so. Um, and then from that point, I hope this week that we start, um, we'll get the, the fascia on. We've got uh, some purlings on the bottom that we couldn't do originally, so we'll do those, uh, get our fascia on, and if we're really lucky, We'll start throwing some uh, some tin on. If not, we'll be pretty well set by the first of the week. Uh, next, to go ahead and get the uh, start rolling with tin, getting the the soffit fascia is the first thing that goes on, and the trims around that. And then we will either do the we could do the roof or we could do the walls. Um, I don't think it makes a lot of difference at that point, but the soffit fascia all has to be done. Um, prior to either one of them being done. So, uh, yeah. So let's get out on the job site, see what we can get done, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so I think we'll go through here a little bit of the bracing. So in these corners, it calls for a single brace like this. Um, I decided to go with a double. Um, I think that gives us more strength. So we've got a double uh, in each corner. Um, and I think we talked about that um, at some point, um, how I calculated with the, the construction calculator. This one we still have one left to go. Um, the other thing we've did is we've got all of our perimeter board that's uh, treated. Um, top of the post is where our floor is, so we're going to drop in probably either another 2x4, 2x6 down below that. Um, just to put grade two, and then um, when we get ready to do our floors, we'll have foam that'll go down into the grade or down into the ground a little bit. It's so about probably 12 inches of foam just to keep the heat from going out through the slab. Um, we've also got all of our bolts uh, top and bottom. And then we've got all of these anchored in, so all of our all our posts are now, except for that one, which we haven't got the last two bolts in, is done. Um, and we go ahead. And I did uh, stacked in some two by sixes here, just so we have a nice uh, something to screw. We got couple there to finish up, but we have something to screw our corners into all the way up and down. Got one more grade board to put in there. Um, but yeah, it comes all the way along in here. And then here you can see where we've got our um, rafter tails. And I, there was a question at some point, maybe it was on one of Matt's videos, is why we didn't get these built in, because then we'd have to go to a Anything over 40 feet, we'd have to go to a two-piece truss. Really wasn't interested in that, and it's 
not that big of a deal to just sister on the two by six for these tails and uh, do it that way uh, opposed to going to a two-piece truss which would have been a lot more work to try to put together um, so, um, so we're pretty close now we've got a two by six fascia to put on here um, we've got a little bit more bracing to do uh, not much mostly up into the attic and then around on this side look at there we got somebody cleaning up the job site for us some got some wood what, what you, can, you, gotta, you can't you gotta smell it and know it's always oh, licking the wood i'm mm. i gotta turn away now it's getting a little <laughs> it's premium wood yes <laughs> <laughs> great so on this side here this is going to be facing west uh, we've talked about it a little bit we've got a window now cut into each one of the bays and then the, the second bay over and we'll get over there has a door in it and then so we ended up adding a second girt here just to catch the top of the window so we've got one girt that we cut out and then we use this one as our um for the height of our window that's we just kind of looked at and that made most sense to do um, we've still got one more diagonal to finish back up here to get that double and the other th one thing we did is the second, let's see, I remember which one it is now. The second one down, I believe, that one is where the, uh, actually I take that back, it is that one. Gotta remember what this has been, this gets complicated after a while. Uh, the third one down is actually where what we've done is it's 120 inches from here to that and so we're gonna have 10 foot panels and a five foot panel so if down the road when Matt wants to do the porch on here we've got five foot panels we can pull across and then out here would be a 12 foot porch um, we'd put posts out here and then just um, be able to not have to cut all that tin we can just pull those down um, pretty easily We'll put Tyvex on here so it's not stuck to there. Um, so that'll be pretty easy to do uh, down the road. And um, I think that'll be a nice little feature to have on here and stuff. And then here's our three foot man door. We've got a little bit more work with that to get that secured. And uh, but yeah, it's starting to, starting to shake shape. We also got the last of the purlins in and uh, the other thing was we did is we built our header for a door. So we've got a two by six between the posts and we've got a two by six on the outside and then we've got a double two by 12 on the top. And that's just to attach door hardware and door openers and, and get some stability. And then the, the other thing we did is we take, took two uh, two by sixes and that runs all the way up and we'll secure it to this post. That'll get our cross bracing uh, diagonal coming down from the top of the post up here down to the second truss over, just like we did on the other side. Um, and we'll get that secured in. And then we'll have some, uh, some corner bracing uh, going side to side in these two. So uh, starting to get there, got a little, another board to cut there. So, but slowly coming together and uh yeah so we're i'm building pre-building these ladder which is going to be our gable overhangs these are 12 inches and uh this will have the same spacing in between here as our purlins up top and then those guys we're up here, getting ready to put those into place. There they've got the one in there, we're getting ready to drop on the other side and then we'll get the uppers done and then we'll come back and do the lowers after that.
All right, I thought I'd bring you up here, kind of see how this detail works. You can see where that was the boards we cut earlier to set the height of our post. Then we had that little slot that the trusses come into. Um, and then we through bolt these three with carriage bolts. And then to get our tails, we get a block, small block there, and then cut these for our a, a, uh, for our tails and then our fascia. So we'll put tin on this. On the bottom side, we'll have the uh, fascia, or, uh, soffit go on there. But yeah, it's getting to look like a lot like a building, so. see where we've got the those ladders that we built all the way up so. all right so our framing is basically done at this point in time we've got all of our fascia nailed on we've got all of our windows in our ladder frames we've got a little bit of um, we'll straighten one last time we're going to make sure our soffit and is looking our facial looks good and straight and then uh, come over there here's where our man door is going to be and then from in here you can see it's a little easier from the from the outside it's kind of hard to see but you can see we've got our windows all in we still need to put some blocking to nail uh, nail the windows in but we will do that shortly um, yeah so next time we're going to go ahead and start with the soft and fascia putting the tin on that and then from that we'll probably um, depending on how we can divide up uh, start putting the lower section of the roof on and uh, go from there so we'll see you next time